a 0.120 molar solution of HA is 7.7% ionized. Calculate Ka. Let's go over the six steps for this problem. Step one, identify what we're given and what we're finding. We're given the concentration of a weak acid and the percent ionization. We're finding Ka. Step two, build an ice table. Our equation would look like this where we added the generic weak acid of HA to water. The acid donates an H plus to water to form our hydronium ion and conjugate base. We'll place the given initial acid concentration of 0.120 here. We were not given the initial concentrations of our products, so we'll label each as zero. The change is next where the reactant is minus x and the products are plus x. Add rows i and c together to get row e, which represents the concentrations at equilibrium. Step three, find x. This is where our given percent ionization comes in. Recall percent ionization refers to the percentage of acid molecules that actually ionize. The percent ionization formula is the concentration of the ionized acid, which is the hydronium ion at equilibrium, divided by the initial acid concentration, all multiplied by 100. Notice we already have the initial acid concentration and the percent ionization. So we can find the hydronium ion at equilibrium. Looking back at our ice table, the hydronium ion at equilibrium is X. By plugging everything into our formula, this is how we will find X. We'll divide by 100 both sides. This cancels, and we now have a decimal here. Next, we'll multiply both sides by our denominator. These cancel, and we get this value. We said the hydronium ion at equilibrium is equal to X. Now that we found x, we can move on to the next step. Step four, find equilibrium concentrations by plugging in x. We'll find our acid concentration by subtracting these values. And both the hydronium ion and conjugate base have the same concentration value. Step five, write the Ka expression. We never include liquids in our equilibrium expression, so our products will go on top and our only reactant will go on the bottom. Step six, plug in concentrations into the Ka expression. Multiply the numerator first, then divide. We get this value and we'll round to two sig figs since that was the lowest amount of sig figs given in the question. Ka is 7.7 .7 times 10 to the negative fourth. Could you imagine being able to answer every type of acid-base equilibria question? Well, that's what my notes on acids and bases are designed for. These notes show you how to find the pH of strong and weak acids and bases, write dissociation equations, find the acid or base concentrations, and so much more. So purchase the acids and bases notes today and start feeling confident for your next exam.